Hey guys, welcome to the Lost Socks Workshop. So um, the first thing you're going to do when you get um, your kit and get started is you're going to want to grab your paint and you're want to get this painted. So paint the front and back, however many coats that you want to do that you feel it's completed. Um, so you're going to want to do that beforehand and then you're going to want to give that some time to sit and dry. Um, I let mine sit overnight because um, when it comes to stenciling, it's very important that this base is completely dry um, otherwise if you do it while it's still wet um, you pull your stencil up you can actually pull that paint right off with it um, and sometimes with paint it can seem like it's dry but um, if you look especially if you do a couple layers and your um, first layer you put on isn't quite dry when you put your second one on um, it takes a little bit longer to dry underneath there and it feels dry to the touch when it may actually still be technically wet so just something to watch out for. So if you're gonna do this, um, if you wanna be super, super cautious, I would at least do it and give it an overnight to sit and, and completely dry. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your stencil. Um, you're gonna wanna just kinda dry fit it before you peel your back off, just kinda where you're thinking you're gonna put it. I'm gonna line mine up just to the very top because uh, remember you're gonna screw your basket down here on the front so you don't want that to be in the way. So when you're ready, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna peel off the back. Um, this has been pre-peeled for you, so it should come very, very easily. This is going to become garbage. You don't need that anymore. And then just remember, this is very sticky. I'm going to try to get this. There we go. Very sticky, so once you place it down, it's kind of a, a one shot. So make sure you're um, pretty content on where you're putting it. So you're going to be placing this and then we're gonna be actually using this item as a stencil. So no worries, this is not what the final product looks like. This is just a temporary item that we're putting on here. We're gonna stencil um, your words with paint and then when it dries, we'll take the stencil off. So once you put it down, you just wanna make sure you, everything is sticking. If you've got a scraper tool, Feel free to use it, especially on the tiny little pieces, like in the E and the K, um, those little small pieces that aren't connected to anything. Okay, so then when you're ready, what you're gonna do is you're gonna peel up that clear piece. You gotta find a spot where you can grab it, which is sometimes the hardest part. I try to leave little tails sometimes so that I have something to grab onto, but Clearly, in this case, I did not do that for myself. I will try to be better for you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, I think I'm going to get it down here, guys. This is how you know videos are live because it's, they're never perfect and I don't want them to be perfect. Because I want you guys to see that I struggle too. All right, now this is getting funny. Oh, oh. I think I got it, guys. It's like at the grocery store when you're trying to get bags apart. I swear if somebody's watching you, it's always worse, right? There we go. All right, like I said, it will not be that hard for you guys. I promise. Okay, so then when you start just over on the side, you're just going to want to be cautious because it's going to want to stay stuck to your um the transfer so just go slowly um kind of going behind it and then just smushing it down if there's creases kind of like you can see with mine that's okay because we don't really care about this part that isn't our letters the only thing we're really watching is going to be um this gray area because that's where we're going to be stenciling Gosh, I really stuck this one good, guys. I stuck the landing on this one. And like I said, just make sure you're going slow. Once again, if it creases, as long as it's not in the letter, it's fine. It doesn't matter. So don't get um, bent out of shape if that's happening. Now 
And I promise, guys, this is like the trickiest part of stenciling is getting the stencil on. Especially when you've got um, intricate little letters and stuff like that. But I love the way stenciling looks. I love the way that paint, um, it comes out. So it's something um, that I always like to come back to. I like to show you guys how to do it. All right, holy cow. Remember, there's joy in the journey. We gotta find the joy in the journey even when it's kind of a pain in our butt like that one was. Okay, so once you get that transfer tape off, what you're gonna go and do is you're just gonna go over all of these little pieces um, and just give it a smush down. Okay. So what you're gonna do, the very first paint you're gonna do is not gonna be the color you're gonna be painting the words. You're actually gonna grab the paint color that your background is. So for me, it's steel gray. You're going to start with that. I'm gonna get mine to come out here. There we go. Grab your foam brush. And what you're gonna do um, is you wanna just get a little bit of paint on the brush, not a lot. And you're gonna go over these letters. And you're gonna start by slowly dabbing. Um, do not go back and forth, anything like that, because um, that pushes paint underneath your stencil. So what we're doing here by um, using this base color first is that you are actually sealing the edges. So we're sealing the edges right now um, in your stencil so that when you go over with your top color um, those edges are sealed with the stencil so it really cuts down on bleeding um, if you've ever tried to stencil before and you've just done it the first time with the with the color you're using and sometimes it works it just kind of depends on the surface you're using I know I've stenciled on walls before and if it's like a not flat surface, like it's textured, it can be a real disaster with bleeding. So this is a fun little trick. It works in all stenciling. So if you do end up stenciling in a room or on a wall or anywhere you're stenciling, this is a fun little trick. So if you always do that base paint first, um, then it kind of seals those edges. You won't see the base. You won't obviously see this color bleeding because it's the same color as the background. So you'll just go through, you'll stencil all these letters. And then once you get all these letters completed, you will want to make sure that you let this um, first coat dry. Um, stenciling is a fun process, but it can also be a very slow process because you have to wait between coats to dry. Um, and I found that if you do hurry the process and you don't let those different coats dry when you go to pull this um, stencil off. It can be super not fun, complete disaster. Um, so that is just learning from my experience. So yeah, once you get this first coat done, make sure you get all the pieces of the letter. You don't want anything uncovered. And you will let this just sit and you will let it dry. All right, so when that coat is done and dry and you are ready to start using um, your letter color, you're basically gonna go about it the same exact way that you just did, um, but it's just gonna be with the color that you're actually going to be painting with. I'm gonna get mine open here. I feel like this is just the Hot Mess Express craft video today. Nothing is going as scripted. All right. So grab it just like you did before with the other coat. Um, and then you're just going to start dabbing again. Just a reminder, do not go back and forth um, and don't glob your paint on there. 
if that first coat is not dark enough for you, um, let it dry and then do a second coat and make sure um, in between your coats that you're giving that first coat the opportunity to dry first. Um, this is super important when you're stenciling guys. Like I said, it's a really good time to practice patience. I know we all don't have it. I definitely don't have it. Um, and there have been stenciling projects that I hurry along and you will definitely see that in your end result. So it's a very humbling experience to remember that sometimes you just need to be patient. So this is a fun project just to kind of do over a weekend, you know, do a little piece here and there, set it to the side, come back to it. I'm luckily using the black. It's a pretty, um, obviously dark color. So it's going to coat really well um, that first time. We'll see what it looks like when it dries. I may not even do another coat. I don't know. Super therapeutic too, I don't know. I just, if you haven't picked up on, I love stenciling. Just make sure you're doing an even coat, that you're not globbing it. Definitely do not put a ton on guys, you do not need a lot. That's one of the biggest things I see besides people not waiting till it dries is they just glob on paint. Um, especially if you do a second layer before it's dry, um, can really be bad news bears. So patience, 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 even out your layers. If you're gonna do multiple coats, please, please, please wait for that first coat to dry. Well, make sure you're getting in all your stencil areas. I always like to look at it from the side so you can kind of see in the like glare, you can kind of see where your stencil is. So just make sure you're not missing the a loop or the dot of an eye or the top of a T. All right, well, that's looking pretty good. Um, so like I said, before you do um, a second coat or you put any more paint on, 100% um, just let this dry. Um, and then you can come back and keep adding coats to it until um, you are content. And then once you get to your final coat, um, once again, just leave it, let it completely dry. And then I will show you guys um, how to remove your stencil. All right, so now that everything is super dry and ready to go, um, what you're going to do is you're just going to start peeling off this vinyl. Um, so if while you're peeling, some of your gray paint comes up with it, that is fine. Um, that's why you've got lots of gray paint if you have to go touch anything up. And then just kind of slowly peel. Everything should um, come off pretty easily. Once again, make sure this paint is dry. Do not be doing this while it's wet. You're going to be sad. And then this vinyl is obviously garbage now. So as, as you're going, if you tear it or whatever is going on, um, that is fine. You're not using this again. It's super satisfying and a bit terrifying every time I pull a vinyl off, especially during a live video. All right. So there is that. So next what we're going to do is we're going to um, go ahead and get these little pieces out. I have to get my little poker tool. So you can do it. Um, with your fingers, if you've got a little poker tool, um, these are super useful. Um, doesn't even have to be a Cricut. You can grab these at the craft store or you can um, even grab them 
um, at Harbor Freight. They sell a version. Just be tricky. I always go in the middle here to try to get these out. Can be tricky. Just go through and get all of those out of there. Some spots are easier than others, like everything, especially with this project today. said this project today is just all the problems but no problems everything can be fixed guys I'll show you here in a second all right so I got a couple places that I just want to touch up super quick One thing I always say with workshops, everything can be fixed. And sometimes things just aren't going to be perfect. And you know what? That is okay. So yeah, if you've got any spots that you want to fix, just go back and touch them up. Or if the vinyl um, pulled off any of your paint sometimes. It's just weird and that will happen. If that's happened, just go touch it up. No biggie. All right. So now that we've got our stencil off, we can go ahead and look at attaching um, the basket. So it's going to go on down here. You can decide what you kind of want to do. If you want to have it down lower and have more space, if you want it all... Um, on there that's fine um, I would suggest like getting up at this point and hanging this actually on the wall and getting an idea of how you want this to happen um, because this is a um, how do I say this I'm trying to show it to you um, the side's not straight so it is at an angle so this is going to go on there on an angle um, if that totally annoys you um, you know, I would just maybe figure out a way to get that to go straight. Um, some different things you could do. Um, that's up to you. I'm not annoyed by it. But if you're annoyed by it, um, just get creative and how to figure out how to do that. So once you kind of have an idea of what's going on, these little clippy doos that you have in your workshop are going to go on the back of your basket. I'm gonna attach the, at the second rung here. I wanna make sure they're actually in the rung. There we go. I'm just lining up the basket with the bottom of my wood here. So what I'm gonna do, try to do this with showing you guys. Um, this wood is pretty, Pretty soft so it should be pretty easy to get these screws in here with just a screwdriver like I said this is never an easy feat when trying to do this on video <laughs> and if you have um like an electric screwdriver, feel free. That's very really obnoxious. That's just my hand. Let's flip this here. Um, feel free to use that. I'm trying to do this so you're not just staring at my hand, guys. Get 
I said, a hand screwdriver will work. It's just gonna take a little bit. There we go. So then you'll just go ahead and you'll attach your second one on there as well. Um, over on the other side, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me do that too, because I think you guys are understanding at this point what is going on. Um, so you'll go ahead and attach that, um, and then you will be good to go. Um, everything is done. You can hang that baby on the wall, um, and then make sure that you send us a picture of your finished product so that we can see your creativity. Um, I love seeing everybody's finished workshops. Um, that's one of my favorite parts. So make sure you're sharing pictures with me.